Do you want to break into her house? I mean, we have the I mean, whole I life. have I have no desire to break into her house. No, of course Does I don't. Does it seem like somebody's there? He's locking the door. She texts him. Let me see your hands. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Now fucking move. Keep your hands in the fucking air. Hey Scott, Bounty Hunter Bootcamp here. So the videos that we're going to show over the next week or so are going to be the videos uncut and unedited that were part of the BBC documentary on uh, Stacy Dooley uh, and the Bounty Hunters. So take a look at them. They don't have the narration. They're not part of the of the documentary, but uh, they're the captures. You know, a little bit of editing in. Uh, they are originally over 30 minutes long, so I'm trying to cut them down so they'll be a little bit shorter. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, and uh, we appreciate you checking us out. And uh, to all the new viewers out there coming from England, welcome. Are you going that way? How do we get past these gates? Is she going to come that way? Yeah. Hang on. Hang on there, young younger one. We have cameras behind us. What? The gate's open. Okay. Catch a can. That's a that's Alaska. So we're plugged into power here. This is the only one that looks like it's plugged into power. No, I. Natalie. Okay, let's try another one. Maybe she's in that boat that's leaving. <laughs> I left the phone in the car. Makes me want to go fishing. I don't see any power cable. Uh, this one's got power. Yeah. Hello? Hello? So how much research goes into trying to find out what exact boat she's in? Not a lot. This one looks sealed up from the outside, doesn't it? So what, here we're just trying our luck? Yeah. What? What do you mean by Z? The slip Z. Slip Z, whatever that means. I think they're all numbered. Dude, I could so, so live here. Get a big enough boat. This is way cooler than Denver, isn't it? It's beautiful. You're going to be summer in here. There doesn't seem to be a sense of urgency for me to find this girl. She's not gone far. Do you think you're going to find her today? I find everybody eventually, right? We just got to figure out, you know, we're in a haystack. We just got to figure out which, which is the right needle. This is, this is why I love Alaska. This reminds me of Alaska right now with the, the way the sky and the temperature. The only thing missing are all the harbor seals. They don't, where's the numbers? Are any of those Z? We don't have a photo of her, which bugs me. Jax, you know what she looks like, right? Yes, sir. Found a boat. So what, what, what's the worst case scenario here? If she they pushes did, you in the lake and you drown? Well, I'm not going to drown. I have a quick release. I pull on it. My vest comes off. But I'm out of about $3,000 in equipment. But no, she jumps in the water and goes swimming, right? Where would she swim to? She swim to the dock on the other... Yeah. Look, at, look at the current, though. Yeah, but if I wanted to get away from you, I'd jump in and swim across and go on the other side of the dock, right? Yeah, you are. How can you not swim? Past my red. I don't know what that means. It's like a whip. I'm swimming. I'm getting past the blue. 
Manatee. You like a man manatee are very slow, but they're very buoyant. I used to swim with manatees. Manatees like the hot water. It comes out of the power plants in Florida. You can feed them. You can hand feed them cabbage. The approach today feels very informal and very calm, Scott. Oh, well, I'm not going to be drawn. Don't feel stressed or tense. Well, it's because I'm in back in Idaho. I mean, it's you, it's a registered nurse. Never been in trouble before. You know, getting a school, getting an argument with a with a person. They charge you with a car that you have possession of that you have permission to have possession of. They said it was little. This ain't little. Okay. Definitely somebody living here, right? Bad luck, doesn't it? Yeah, no, no. Tony said Z, so this is Z. This is the only sailboat. So go knock there. Don't fall in the water. Especially you, Lydia. Don't fall in the water. This is awesome. Way nice. So she's not here. So we missed her. We'll come back in a minute. Go go work something else. Do you, you see anybody? Do, do we know what she's driving? I heard she had just bought a car. Um. Okay, she's not here. You ready? I'm ready. Yeah. Okay. All right, Jack, so here we are at a boat. Never been at a boat. Nope. You've never been at a boat. Um, there's no dog. We know she has a dog. There's no dog barking. So she didn't leave the dog behind. It's locked from the outside, so obviously nobody's in it. Um, what Tony said is that there's a possibility she has a new car, which could have temp tags. Not necessarily a brand new car, but just a car right. new to her. Um, what, what, what do you see logistically could go wrong here with this, with this boat? Well, don't overthink it. I mean, she could just be, she could just be sitting, sitting. Just laughing at us? Yeah. No, but I mean, what, there's probably, what, one way in, one way out kind yep. of thing, maybe two, <coughs> maybe a hatch up front. Yeah. Um, she gets out, she jumps in the water, she goes for a swim. Yep. You going for a swim with her? Yes, sir. Take your gear off first. feels like Alaska. So I don't think she's here. So let's walk back out and well that was anticlimactic, huh? But Scott, sometimes I've seen you just let yourself in people's homes. Why aren't you doing that here? Well there, it doesn't show signs of anybody being there. It's locked yeah, from the outside. Out there. There's no little dog. She's gonna not she's always gonna be with her dog. From what Tony says. Tony Tony's been you know acquaintances with this woman for a long time so you know Tony's the lady at the office. Huh? Tony's the lady at the office. Yes. That was sat with Rex. Yeah. I mean, the lady's a registered nurse. It, you got to get a lot of education and got to go through a lot of hoops to become a registered nurse. I've arrested other nurses in the past that fell off the wagon and hook, got hooked on meth and stuff like that. So I don't know if that's the case with her. But, um, you know. So are you I don't saying think she. I don't think she's there. Do you want to break into her house? I mean, we have the I mean, whole I have. I have no desire to break into her house. No, of course Does I don't. Does it seem like somebody's there? I'm is there a light on? I'm not a bounty hunter. How no, do I but know? I mean, I mean, if you were a new trainee, <laughs> does it look like somebody's home? I don't think I'm qualified enough to even. Oh that come on! You don't oh, dance around that. No, I don't. I don't know. You're dancing. You're a professional dancer. I'm you're not. dancing around it really well. <laughs> Man, this current is moving. Um, are there lights on? No. Stacy, yes. are there lights on? No. Um, do you hear a small dog barking when we knock? I didn't, no. Um, any movement in there at all? Did it appear to be any movement? Not that I can see. So based on your experience, education, and training, would you <laughs> think that somebody was there? Probably not. Probably not. So why? So why not just go and do something else and come back a little bit later? I don't know. We got something here. What do we got up here? We got a little dog. What do we got? 
That's her? That's her. There you go. Oh, Scott. You think she's going to drop the groceries and run? Hey, Jax. Yeah, sure. Chill. Yes, sir. Okay. Chill. If we're going to cuff her, we're going to cuff her in the front. Yes, sir. She's got groceries, so what are we going to do with the groceries? What's her name's Natalie? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah, she actually could be dangerous. Her. Oh, she's not running yet. Are you Natalie? Maybe. Maybe. Hey, buddy. Hi, buddy. Maybe kind of means yes. Maybe kind of means yes. We're with all Freedom Bail Bonds. Hi. You missed court. I know, I did. I just found out after. You missed court on April 16th. Okay. Rex wants to talk you in the office. Okay. So. Oh, you're Rex's son, aren't you? Yes, ma'am. I met you. You drove me here. Yep. Yep. So you want to put some stuff away and I want to put my dog. Se secure your dog and stuff. You're not gonna be a problem. You can jump off the deck, or off the dock. The other day. He got that out of his no, system. you. <laughs> Me? Yeah, and like try to escape or anything. Too cold. Okay, mm -hmm. alrighty. Well, we'll follow you. These guys are from the BBC. They're documenting okay. uh, bounty hunters. Okay. We're making a documentary okay. about these guys and how they work. Um, is that cool? Is oh, that I love okay? the way you talk. Oh, I'm from England. Yeah, I sound nice. I'm far away. So we'll from follow home. you. Okay. You were not home. Well, we went you to your. Right? I think we found the right one. Okay, uh, it says welcome. Yep. 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 Mm -hmm. I guess you guys are welcome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right now you're just okay. going to the office. Okay. So, it, Rex will make a determination after that point whether or not you go to jail. But, you know, just be truthful on why you missed. Have a conversation with him. I think you'll be fine. Well, that's a nice boat you're on. passive today Scott is it because you're home yes I am home I hate smokers though no nobody bites Jax Jax bites people don't reach for anything grab any guns do anything stupid when you're in the in your house you want to go in with her okay alrighty So the first boat arrest is anti-climatic. We're not even got to arrest them in the boat. We're going to arrest them on the dock. How, how boring. It's just nice. It's a different environment. It's not an apartment complex or a trailer park. I mean, she you seems... You can step up there if you want. Just don't fall. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. I'll just wait here for her. I mean, she seems very calm and cooperative. And you seem very passive and calm. Well, it's not all... Okay. It's not all, I mean, we're providing customer service at this point. We're bringing somebody back to the office. Um, you know, it's not a take, it's not a hook and take to jail kind of, we're taking them back to the office. And it's about customer service. I provide customer service to, to my client, feel less moving. Um, I provide customer service to our clients and Rex is my client and he's also my friend and I want to treat his customers with respect and, and dignity. Um, as long as they're giving it back to us. So, well, I mean, why trip? Why, why put her in handcuffs when she's got to secure her house? This, how what secure can a boat really be anyway? Right? I mean, hopefully she comes back. You know, maybe we give her a ride back. I don't know. That's how he's closed down. First door. That's the... First door. First door. You can step up there, come on. It's okay. You can always walk around him. Can you guys stay? See, now we got lights on downstairs that we didn't have on before. Hmm. He can't get out, right? He's going to be safe? 
Pardon me? No, he'll be all right. Okay. Rex says, you know, you're probably not going to jail. He just wants to know what's going on. So. I'm sorry, he wants to know what? He just wants to know what's going on. So you might be back here in a little bit. Don't All right, sit we're there. Gonna... It's wet. Okay. Um, Natalie. Sorry. Sorry. Natalie. Yes. Oh, sorry. 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 Nobody fall in the water. Oh. What? Oh, she's, I she was swim. wanting to talk. Oh. Is it okay? Can you swim? I'm not a great swimmer. Oh, so, yeah. Can you? Oh, yeah. Can you? Get in, hey, I have get in front of me. Watch out, watch out. Loud. Got a plane flying overhead. Yes. The same office. Okay. Yeah, Tony used to own All Freedom. Yeah. And then sold it to Rex. And then retired. And then missed the business so much. He came back. <laughs> so he's got a few listening shots. Okay. Yes. Well, she's known for helping people. Yeah, Tony's great. Yeah. But we gotta get going, so we can get you on your way. Okay. Way cooler than Denver. You didn't have a plane land in the middle of an interview in Denver. What happened? We've been working in Denver. Is Denver nice? Not as nice as this. Yeah. Well, I've had some, I've been jumping from place to place to live. There's one gentleman, and, you know, that was last one. And so I said, I'm going to sell them. But now I'm going to buy myself a camper, I think, or something. Oh, I put it on a boat. I don't know how to, I don't know how to do a sailboat, though. I'm like a crossing guard. Ready? Yeah, like Your Uber out. is here, ma'am. He's actually at Pastor Tent right here. Yes, ma'am. Just sit in the middle. Do you mind, can I go in? Yeah. 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 Oh. Do you mind if I sit next to you? No. Okay. Grab my notebook, please. Oh, yeah, sure. Oh. <laughs> 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 You're so quiet, nobody knew you were there. Everybody forgot you were there. No, no, I was staying there on purpose because Rachel's filming the back of the car. <laughs> Just tucked in at the back. Yes, sir. So I can't help but notice you missed court. Yes, I know. Tell me that too. story. You know, I, I just coincidentally called my my um attorney and she told Who's me. Who's your attorney? Jean. Is it Powell, I think the last name is? Is it a PD or is it a oh, PD? Okay. I just happened to call I'm like, why haven't I heard from her yet? Did you miss court? And my sister told me, I said, well, what should I do? And she told me to turn myself in. Well? And I said, well, then she said, no, I'll wait to talk to Jean. Who told you that? Her assistant at first. Her paralegal assistant? Yeah. Not her regular, I guess she was on vacation. Her regular so what have you done to fix this? Because this is 50, here's the deal, man. So here's the deal. So you're out on Grand Theft right now. You paid me half down. You've got payments. Uh, granted, they're not due until 5 8. 
but one of my conditions of bond is don't miss court. Okay, why well, don't I have a mailing address? I didn't get my mail. I didn't know I had court. All right, none of that matters to me. It doesn't? Okay. No, because everybody in the world can get a mailing address. Okay, I have one. Do you have a mailing address? Yes, sir. How about you guys? Everybody have a mailing address? Okay. So, I don't buy that. I have general delivery. Okay, well, I know for a fact you can go get a post office box. Well, look, I'm sympathetic to you. I totally am, okay? But this is $15,000 of my money, as of right now, mm -hmm. that you're just walking around on, okay? And I don't like that, because I don't have $15,000 to pay for you. Do you have $15,000? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so it looks like your public defender has done everything they're supposed to do. Oh, hang on. Do you need that again? Yeah. If we could do that five, again. Seven, I'm making a pay with today, too. You are? Yes. Oh, well, that'll make me happy. All right. Ready to go? Cash? Yes. Yeah. I'm money order. Okay, that's fine, too. Yeah. All right, Rexy. What? We're rolling. Go ahead, yeah. Rolling. What am I doing? Uh, today's your lucky day. and. Oh, looks like your public defender did what they were supposed to do. So that's good news for you. So, here's what I'm willing to do for you. What time are you going to make your payment? I'm going to go get my car and come back. All right, that sounds great. Uh, go do that. You know today's payment is 397 397 I was going to pay Oh, we'll do that then. Yeah, I'm yeah, going to do that. I'd much rather do that. Yeah. But here's what I'm going to make you do. Don't miss a Tuesday call. Oh. Okay? Okay. Do I not miss one. Yeah. I, I, okay, you have a smartphone? Mm-hmm. Is it on you? So, set a reminder for a Tuesday check-in. Okay. I'm getting a new phone, though. Okay. okay, whatever. Do not miss court again. If you miss court again, this is as nice as I ever get right Won't here. Happen. Right, and I'm doing my very best to be nice, okay? This is my stern voice. Actually, this is half my stern voice. So, I want you to understand the severity of the situation here. You're out on $15,000, okay? I'm literally letting you walk away on that while I'm still up in the air holding on to it. You understand that if you anything happened you just decide to leave, I'd have to pay that. So out of the kindness of my heart, because I don't think you're a dirt bag, you're not a drug addict, you're not a, a crazy person, you don't appear to be a crazy person, obviously your credit's good because you just bought a new car, uh, I'm going to let you go, okay? You need to stay in contact until you have a new court date. And the second you get a new court date, you mm -hmm. need to call here. Okay. You can either call me or Tony. Okay. All right? Okay. 